your apathy. Hi, sir. Of his Can I give you? Well, the problem is there's a lot of pro-lifeism right now, and we want to abolish abortion. We don't want to just incrementalize it, and we don't want to just pray about it. We want to actually do something about it. Um, so we're just calling out fellow people and believers um, that agree that are pro-life okay. to do more. A lot of the churches don't do enough to stop abortion. Okay, because that doesn't. <laughs> that's where that's not the message that we're getting. Well, like, that's the message that we have. That's, okay. That's our message. Because like the Catholic Church is one of the few Christian denominations that actually agrees that they do, life begins they at do, conception. A lot of them do go out, which is way better than a lot of the most typical Christian churches, uh -huh. which we do appreciate. But it needs to go beyond incrementalizing it. It needs to go to the point where this is. We need to abolish this. We need to okay. abolish it and get and use our hands and feet as God intended us to do and abolish it. So we just need more done. We need more done. No more pro-lifeism. We want to abolish it, just like we did slavery. You know, we just we just need more people out there actually doing something about it, being the hands and the feet. I 100% agree with you. Mm -hmm. The message that you're delivering, mm -hmm. no one here is getting that message. They don't get that message from the babies, the parts of the babies that are there. That and you are that you are in solidarity with us. You're, the message is very protesty. It's very you are doing something wrong. This is the message that you stand out in front of an abortion clinic and deliver. No. Well, what the problem is when we're at the abortion clinics, most of the decisions are already made. A lot of the decisions are already made. The women are going to go through with it. Sometimes we'll get somebody that says, no, they won't. And we do go there as well. And we also sure. go to the high schools and we inform the high school kids because that's a great age to do that. Um, great age to inform them and educate them. I'm a nurse and I can actually talk about the physiology of the abortion and everything, you know, and how the baby grows and everything. But the problem we see is a lot of people praying about it, where we need more than praying. We need somebody to go out there and like Fallon is part of your church here. Representative Fallon, Fallon is what I've been told, goes to your church. Um, and he's, something, he's someone that didn't push through that abolish abortion bill. So we're really sad in that respect. Sure. That makes us really sad that he didn't go ahead and push through that abolish abortion. It wasn't an incremental abortion bill, it was an actual abolish bill. And he just let it lie, and he didn't do anything about it. So we need more people to stop letting it lie. Do more, you know what I mean? Do more, you know? Let's not let those bills lie. Let's do something about it. You know, we go, we lobby, we do whatever we can to educate and to let people know that it's murder of a baby. Sure. Um, so that's why we're here. We're sad that Fallon goes here and didn't do anything about it. It's uh, it. Go here very often. Okay. I, I Maybe he I needs didn't... to go more. You know. But. Yeah. Yeah. It, again, I would, I would suggest that you rethink your your rhetoric, especially if your intention is to. Be, it, to agree with us because no. your your message is very adversarial. Well, the and thing, so I'm I'm personally I'm extremely confused. Like like you do realize this is a Catholic church. Yes, we do. Catholics but, agree with but you. But do you know we also go to all the other Christian churches too, not just the Catholic churches. We do, and we call out our fellow brothers and sisters, and we ask them to please don't be apathetic anymore, which most of them are apathetic. No, I understand. You know, so we have a society apathy towards this Holocaust. And we're just trying to stir and wake up people in all churches to say we need to do more than be apathetic. We, Because a lot of people um, from the churches, I'm not saying all Catholic churches, I'm saying all churches, go and have abortions. And it's something that's not often talked about on the pulp, a lot of pulpits. A lot of pastors don't want to get involved sure. you know and they don't want to talk about politics which is really not politics no. it really isn't it's a it's a moral issue it's a very emotionally charged subject it and is people would rather just not talk about it than, yeah. yes because a lot of pain and hurt is underneath but that's what that's what we need to go to and we need to open up with our sin and we need to say yes maybe this happened maybe i did this but repent of your sins and then you're washed clean so that's that's our situation. We need we're calling people out to please do something more than just talk a good talk. We want somebody to walk I think the walk a good with message. us. Again, your billboards are not communicating that message. And unless I come over and talk to you, 
you. Right. You know, I'm not going to get that. Yeah. So anyway. Okay. I, I understand what you're doing. I agree with what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Try maybe rethink the message a little bit because it's not getting communicated properly. Yeah, I think I think we're just trying to like stir a little bit. Hello, you know what I mean? Let's let's talk about this. Let's let's not pretend it's not happening. With a billboard on a street corner and invite people. To just in the time it took you to well, we ask, I mean, we keep asking people to talk and read our literature, but nobody seems to want to, except for you, which I appreciate you came out and talked to us. I totally appreciate that. Yeah. Take care, sir. All right, God bless you.